Okay, so let's brush up with, I will quickly brush up with the slides. Now, Copilot, I don't think needs an uh, means an introduction. Let's see in the demonstration itself. So, Copilot is nothing but an your assistant, personal assistant to automate many things, and it understands natural or layman's English language. Okay, and one more thing, Copilot of Microsoft is powered by Azure OpenAI, not by the Chat GPT. So, it is using their model, but Microsoft is not sharing that data to Chat GPT of OpenAI. Okay, it has similar model. So, that is a security feature of Copilot. Okay, now it has many capabilities which you can see on the screen, but I would be focusing only on formula generation. Okay. So, advantages. So, it has very good, uh, rec it can recognize our sentence very in good way. And I would be dictating. Okay. I would not be writing any prompts for fun. Okay. And I think let's uh, get over to disadvantage later on. I don't think that are disadvantage. Okay. So, let me. Flash the case study. I know I, this doesn't need any explanation. Old regime of tax. So I'm what I'm going to do. I'm basically going to instruct Excel. So I'm going to literally read the Bear Act reading, okay, and tell Excel to generate a uh, tell Copilot to generate a formula, Excel based formula, based on the for Bear Act term I read, okay. So let's uh, try this. Okay, so let me open this. Okay, now prerequisite is, is that you need to have Microsoft Copilot. Okay, so that is an purchase thing. So first, let me make a copy of this sheet because I want to hide uh, personal data. Okay, so I'll say move or copy, create a copy and create a copy, same. Okay, next thing, it Copilot is activated only if it is on cloud. So it should be on, file should be on OneDrive. Okay. And if I attempt to activate Copilot, you will see a window something like this. Okay. So it says that I need to convert data into text. Okay. Currently, it is in preview thing, sort of. Okay. So let me, uh, I guess my cursor has hidden. Let me try to launch the uh, web version of Copilot. So it is also available in web version of Excel. No worries. Okay, so first, uh, I think let's zoom the screen and let's convert. So let me remove some personal personal information. Okay, so I'll write one, two, and try to hide all the personal information. And let's convert this to table. Okay. And let me now command copilot that I want to calculate the tax. Okay. Now I am not uh, copy pasted the prompt. So let's have some fun. I will type it. So I can make mistake. Don't worry. Okay. So I will dictate it here. Add a column named text with calculation that if income exceeds 10 lakh, then Tax is 1,12,500 plus 30% of income exceeding 10 lakhs. Next, if income exceeds 5 lakhs, then tax is 12,500 plus 20% of income exceeding 5 lakhs. Next, if income exceeds 2,50,000, then tax is 5% of income exceeding 2,50,000. Otherwise, tax is zero. Okay, let's see. So it may take few minutes. So this is a fun. So some mistakes might come. We can quickly correct it. So. So let's hold on. So it, I think very long statement, but no worries. AI is means uh, evolving very fast. Yeah. 
and you might find some small mistakes okay so you should not be blindly inserting the formula which uh, copilot gave okay let's evaluate okay so it calculated that income is greater than than 12500 okay so 1 lakh 12000 instead of that it okay so we can correct minor things like 1 lakh 12000 i think 1 1 2 we can make changes okay and the remaining it looks good okay so this way you can generate formulas you might have to uh, do some small checks so don't do it blindly check the formula for some minor errors which you can which can means, uh, appear okay i think this formula looks good okay this way you can uh, so let's say I, I'm ignoring for the timing. I'm ignoring the rebate, and even I'm not adding. Uh, let's say I'm not adding uh, SHEC. Okay. So let's say I want to round up this tax. Okay. So I want one more column. So let me. So we have very short time. Add a column name, final tax, with calculation. That. Tax should be rounded to the nearest 10. Let's see if it can round it to the nearest 10, please. Ideally, you should uh, means subtract that rebate 87 rebate, then add 4% SHEC, and then this step should be done. But since we are running short of time, I am just demonstrating the capability. Okay. Let's see what formula it generates. Okay. Can you see? So it generated formula count round and tax to the minus one, that means 10 decimal plus. So in this way, if you are not very much Excel savvy, so I would recommend that try to use a co-pilot that is a great tool to save time and please uh, ensure that you are using it for only complex. So let's say if it is just calculation of SHEC, you can simply press is equal to and multiply it by 4%. So avoid using for avoid using for simple formulas to save the time. Okay, let me get back to my PPT. Okay, some disadvantage. So file should be on one drive. Okay. And currently it is in preview. If you see, it is in preview mode. So it doesn't, it supports only in table. Okay. It cannot reference a sale, but slowly. So if you can see a preview mode here, but slowly, don't worry, Microsoft would yeah, last two expand minutes, it. Sir. Yeah. So I'm last two minutes. And one more thing. If your formula is prompt is very complex, it might attempt to read the data there in the table. So Please ensure that you are removing some sensitive information. Okay. So yes, I am almost done with this. And even this image was generated by uh, Copilot only. So that is the power that even it helped me with the Excel presentation. Uh,